Hello everyone, it's Chelsea, and this is day 24 of the hashtag AJOS Peculiar Persona Daily Art Journaling Challenge from Art Joy of Sharing Art Community on Facebook. If you haven't joined yet, please come and join us. Link below the video. Answer the questions, <laughs> all that stuff. <clears throat> this, like I said, is a daily art journaling challenge, and we have prompts. The prompts are names, and the name informs you as to who the character might be, and you create the character in whatever style or techniques that you like in your art journal. That's all it is, all October 2021. We've been doing a daily art journaling challenge for, I think, seven years now. So this is the seventh year we've done it. We've tried to change them up a little bit. Last year we had snark attack because we were all pretty grumpy in 2020 and we felt like being snarky. So let's go down the uh, twisty path of what my brain did when I saw the prompt for this one, which was Aria Meerkatis. And of course, meerkat. That's the first thing you think of, right? Meerkats are cute. They are like little... Um, I'm actually not sure if they're marsupials or if they're rodents. I didn't look it up because I didn't end up using a meerkat. But they're cute, and I thought about drawing a meerkat. But then I thought about the first name, Aria, which isn't spelled A-R-I-A, -A, but sounds like Aria, which is music. And then I thought meerkat. I thought about cats, and then I thought about the word caterwaul, which means making a lot of obnoxious noise. And aria means making noise as in singing an aria. And it just all, anyway, it ended up I wanted to do a cat. So <coughs> I had a cat and um, it was already cut out. And I thought, well, this cat will work. But then for some reason, I felt like my cat needs to be a mermaid. And I don't know if that's maybe because of Ariel. I think her name is Ariel in the, the movie Little Mermaid. It's Ariel, isn't it? I think so. That's similar to Aria. Then I also thought about Katniss, mere Katniss, Katess, Katniss. And I thought maybe that it needed to have a bow and arrow because of the um, the film with the the creature, the creature, the character named Katniss. I don't know. Anyway, my mind was twisty on this one, so I just decided to go with the mermaid idea, the cat and mermaid, and so. I got out this gel plate, which is a mermaid fin. The only way you can get this mini gel plate, I think, is to get the uh, Jane Davenport gel plate set, which has an 8 by, uh, eight by 10 and also this little one and um, some shell-looking stuff, uh, sequin waste and all the You know, it's like for mermaids. But I thought it would be fun to just make a... Uh, that shape, you know, you can also, they're using tiles in that shape a lot on the home improvement shows, that kind of thin shape or shell shape. Um, I thought it was interesting. So I did the entire background with that, nesting them together, leaving a little bit of space. Um, I could have overlapped them maybe, I'm not sure anyway, it was fun. I used uh, colors of the ocean, like teal and light blue and light green and those type of colors. And then this piece of paper here is my roll off paper. I was using a small brayer to roll onto the the gel plate to get, you know, to smooth the, the paint and I used some different stencils and things with it. But um, I was rolling off onto this to clean my brayer each time. So I decided to make this into the tail. So I've got these other stencils and I am making marks using uh, PBO shimmer paint. If you don't know what that is, that is some cool stuff. It's from, um, well, it's from PBO. And I think it's called Dyna, but it's it's acrylic paint with, with mica shimmer in it. And I have the, the green blue and the green yellow. And I put marks over that paper in order to change. It's still got the same colors as the background, but change it up a little bit and give it some shimmer because obviously mermaid tails have shimmer. So I used some little line stencils and then also kind of one that looked like little, little fish scales or something. And that's going to be my tail. So 
I cut the bottom part of my cat off, cut his legs off, sorry cat, and his tail. And <laughs> sorry about that cat. It just kept the top part and the paws. And then I drew, uh, I drew where my mermaid tail should go on the page. And then I used a piece of deli paper that I can see through to pick up those lines and make a pattern so I can cut out that other piece of stenciled paper into the tail. So there you go, a cat with a mermaid tail, right? <laughs> the funny thing about that, I mean, there's a lot of funny things about what's going on in my head here, but one of the funny things is that cats don't generally like water. So I think that a cat with a mermaid tail would be pretty, pretty miserable because they don't like the feel of the water for some reason. It's hard to bathe a cat. So my son has two cats and I asked him one time, did you, have you bathed them ever since you got them? You know, because they're probably, you know, need to be cleaned, you would think. I don't, I've never had a cat because I'm extremely allergic to them. They make me wheeze and they make my arms break out with hives. So I'm not a, a cat person for that reason, not because I don't think they're cute, but because I just, I can't tolerate them as um, their dander just gives me all kind of allergy problems. He says he's never bathed his cats. Of course, they do give themselves baths. They are constantly licking themselves and cleaning their and grooming their own fur. So maybe it's not so important as uh, washing a, you know, keeping a dog groomed. I, I take my dog into the shower with me every couple of weeks and, and wash her. And then I take her to the groomer every three months and get her trimmed and, uh, you know, all that stuff. So. I guess you don't do that as much with cats. But anyway, I don't know where how I got off that topic. Topic. Oh yes, I just thought it was funny that the cat has a mermaid tail and cats wouldn't like to be mermaids. Yeah. <laughs> I have video editing fatigue, people. <laughs> Making a video every single day is really tiring. I'm ready for this challenge to be done so that I don't have to edit a video all the time because this is not the fun part. The art part is the fun part. The editing is like stinky. I don't like to do it at all. So I have fatigue. My brain's crazy. Um, <laughs> I probably, uh, I'm losing it. But anyway, enough of that. I am using my Stabilo All Pencil to go around the edges of everything and to make a blended black line with my water brush so that, uh, because you know that the color of the tail is the same as the color of the background where I use the thin gel print thing. So it's very similar. And this is a very simple tail. I didn't do a bunch of stuff to it. It's a pretty simple page. I did some gel printing directly to the, the book and then I, um, you know, went in with a couple pieces of collage and a little bit of pen work. Not a lot going on today, but it's pretty and it's shimmery. Um, and the, there will be uh, pictures at the end, close-ups at the end. You can see the shimmer of that PBO paint. It's also really fun to gel print with that stuff if you're just doing straight gel printing to make collage paper or whatever. Um, that shimmery paint is, is wonderful on the gel plate. So then I used uh, some different types of pins. I used my Fabric Castell Pit Artist pins, which are India ink pins. I used my Posca pins, uh, the fine tip, white, white for sure, black too, I think. I used my water brush to blend a little bit. I'm making some, some marks on the tail that uh, just add extra visual texture to it, some little scales or whatever. It's, it already has a lot of interesting shapes, but I just added a few more with the pen, blending it with the water a little bit. And um, what else? Added a little bit of that color to the eyeballs of the cat. The cat had pretty eyes already. I probably shouldn't have touched them. And then I wanted to use some uh, alphabet stamps to stamp the name Aria Mercatus. Aria Mercatus. <laughs> She's a very pretty kitty mermaid. So I got black archival ink 
to stamp with. These stamps are from Stampin' Up, and they're the one they're much long, long discontinued ones. But they had you mount back in that, the day when I was when I had these. We mounted our own stamps. It came with a sheet of the rubber foam sticky stuff, and then a, um, the blocks, and you put and the stickers, and you put the, your own stickers on, and they had them double mounted. So the capital is on one side, and the um, the lower case is on the other side. So I have the capitals and the lower cases of this without having two sets. It's all in one set, which was actually pretty pretty smart of them. I don't know if they're still doing that. I have no idea what kind of stamps Stampin' Up! has at this point. Um, I know that they did add in the uh, silicone ones or whatever, which they used. They said, always said they were going to stay with the red rubber because it's the best, which it is. And <laughs> then they went and uh, caved to peer pressure, I guess, at some point. So then I decided my cat needed to have a shell bikini top. So I grabbed some light pink. I did use light pink in the background and um, there is a little bit in the, in the uh, tail as well since it was the roll off paper. So I decided to grab a piece of painty paper that had light pink and I, I cut some little shell shapes and then put um, some pen work, a little bit of the fabric castell and then also the, uh, pink Posca pin to draw the um, the straps, the strings or whatever. It's a string bikini shell top. And the reason that I switched to the Posca pin is because the Posca pin is acrylic paint, so it's opaque. So in order for me to use that other pin I was using to go across the back part of the cat, it wouldn't show up because that, that Fabricastel Pit Artist brush pin is translucent, but the Posca pin, being acrylic paint, is of course opaque. So I had to switch. Then I gave her a little crown because she seemed pretty uh, royal, and I thought it would be cute. And there's a, a lot of there's not actual yellow in the background, but there is some yellow green, which has got a lot of yellow tone to it. So I I grabbed a piece of pretty bright yellow painted paper. And then um, put put the line around that. I'm adding some highlights with my white Posca pen, little scribbly ones, some whiskers, and just different stuff. I put a little bit of that uh, turquoise around the letters, and then I end up um, highlighting them too with the white. And I think that's about it for this whole page. I went around the edges with some gray ink just to darken up the edges of the page. Pretty simple page, but super cute. Cat is a mermaid. Hope you're enjoying this challenge. I hope you're enjoying my channel, uh, having a video every day. And if you are, please remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and comments and questions, all those things. And of course you can share this if you want to, pin it to Pinterest, share it with somebody that you think it would be cute to have a cat mermaid. I don't know, someone would like it. So that is it for me. I will see you again tomorrow with another page and another video. Bye-bye.